feel like spring practice is going so far, specifically the defense? Yeah, I feel like it's going great. Um, specifically the defense, we have a whole bunch of great young guys, um, newcomers, you know, brought in from the transfer portal and stuff like that. Um, returners, obviously, um, I just feel like we've been taking a step day after day after day after day. And the, each day I'm out here, the more and more I realize like how good we are actually about to be. Um, and I just think we all need to understand that and uh, keep working towards our goal. So you leading the safeties during drills, practice specifically in that in that group. Who have you seen kind of shine out of the newcomers? Yeah, Michael Boganowski, you know, he's one of those guys who um, he just flies around to the ball. He'll hit you. He's eager to learn. Um, but really, all three of the freshmen that just came in, Reggie included, and uh, Jaden Hardy with that too, um, those are all guys, they're eager to learn. They're literally waiting on me in there right now to get out of here so we can go watch film. So, um, you know, those are young guys who, who are talented and eager and ready to learn. But uh, like I said, Michael Boganowski, you know, he, he got a bright future ahead of him. Seems like the depth of the secondary as a whole is kind of deeper this mm -hmm. season. Guys like Desmond Long, Robert Street, Jennings, can you speak to that at all? Yeah, uh, we, we have depth uh, really everywhere, to be honest. Now, um, I feel like that's something we wanted to bring in was competitive depth at each position. And I feel like we're starting to build that. And it's great because you come out here and you know you can rotate guys in and out with different groups. Um, and, and that's another way to learn. Pop's only been a handful of practices. What it's been like having Coach Alley out here. How, how have you guys kind of adapted to him so far? Yeah, uh, very re a really easy guy to adapt to. Uh, you know, he's in there watching film with us. Um, great uh, communicator, explains things very well. You know, he's young-minded, um, relates with us, you know, better than, you know, what you could say an older coach does. But uh, it's been great to have him out here, especially with uh, the mastermind of Coach Venables. You mentioned, you mentioned last year that your growth of vocal leadership was, was a big step for you. Have you felt like you've progressed so far this spring in, in that area? Yes, I feel like I have progressed with that. Um, but um, being an older guy, you know, um, I, I have a lot of, um, you know, experience. So I, I can necessarily, you know, get my words across and things like that. But uh, yes, I feel like I've made prog progress with that and I'm continuing to do so. Film studies with the guys, what have you been looking at mainly with, with them, just mainly your film or, or their high school film? Walk me through that. Uh, no, nah, we, we watch a little bit of everything. You know, <laughs> we'll, we'll go back into the archives. We'll, I, one time I showed them some of my freshman highlights, of, or not highlights, but freshman practices when I got here as a freshman, you know, and what it was like, you know, helping them understand that it's not going to happen like a click. You know, it's a process. So, you know, some of them get down coming out here. You know, it's only the fourth practice, but, you know, uh, it's good that they're hard on themselves, but to understand that it's still process. But, um, no, nah, we just, we, we go in here and we watch practice right after every time, so it's fresh on your mind. <laughs> what happened to, I guess, your freshman year? What, what do you remember about the struggles of that during your time here, and, and how has it been able to translate with them? Have you seen any similarities there with them? Uh, not really a lot of similarities. I mean, it's kind of, you know, gone through through my head a little bit just because it was a whole it was a whole different everything you know when I was here as a freshman but um, just now you know the, the buy-in that we have and the coaching staff that we have you know street staff included you know support staff all of it you know we're really creating something to surround us and, and, and put us back on the map like Oklahoma is used to being right what have you seen from, from a guy like Peyton who last year obviously freshman highly touted recruit what has stuck out to you so far from him in, in spring camp? Yeah, he's uh, he's personally told me that he, you know he's making steps in, into uh, maturing, you know, becoming a more vocal leader as well, um, and that's something he can do. You know, guys respect him. Um, he's very, very, very talented, and so I feel like once he once he comes along, um, yeah, he'll be a name to know in the future for sure. You mentioned leading film studies, leading drills out here and whatnot. It, looking back at your freshman year, is there anybody? who you can remember who kind of took on that coaching role as a player? Yeah, and it's crazy that you say that because actually a week or two ago, I reached out to those guys, and those guys are, are uh, Delarian Turner Yell, well, Trouble is what we call him. But um, you got guys like uh, Justin Broyles, you know, he's helped me uh, since since I've been here. Um, Pat Fields, you know, Jeremiah Cradell, you know, he's not here no more or playing football no more. But those are guys who I reached out to them and let them know how appreciative I am of them, you know, showing me the way and allowing me to continue to leave this place better than I found it. Obviously, it's good for the younger guys to see that, but do you feel like it's helped your game at all, just being able to kind of take on more of that coaching side? Yes, it definitely has. It definitely has. Um, being able to see that, um, see the game from that lens uh, definitely allows me to, you know, up my game as well. So, yeah, it does. Obviously, you had a lot of production last year. What are your personal goals for this spring going into next season? Yeah, uh, I want to become a more uh, consistent tackler. Um, and I want to become better in, in man coverage, you know. Um, ultimately, you know, I, I can still improve on 
really anything, you know, my breaks, my eye discipline, things like that. So uh, just becoming an all-around, um, you know, football player, you know, watching more guys of the the next level that I'm going to go to after this year. So uh, things like that, yeah. Who are some of the guys you watch the next level? I, I watch a lot of Jamal Adams. I watch a lot of uh, Hufanga from the 49ers. So, yeah.